So my first one is from Steve, and he said, what do you recommend for beginners in terms of using kettlebells? How can you make sure you have good form because it seems like you could really hurt yourself? That's a great question. And yes, you could. Uh, so for beginners, there's the basic, there's, there's some, first of all, like just basic movement principles that you need to understand, like how to properly hinge from the hip. That would be a big one. Yeah. So like your deadlift mechanics, even though swing is, is not a deadlift because the force load is different, right? The swing is going to work on a pendulum. So mm -hmm. like if people don't know what a kettlebell swing is, it's you basically are taking that kettlebell, you're going to hold it and it's going to swing between your legs and you're going to kind of hinge back and the arms are going to be tight to the body and then you're going to swing it out to about eye level and you're going to stand up really tall then you wait for the bell to come back into you and hinge back and you rinse and repeat it so it's really a lot of kinetics going on where like a deadlift which the kind of the movement looks the same the force load you're just dealing with gravity so like there's as opposed to the bell's inertia coming into you you're just standing it up and so before like anything you want to learn how to deadlift properly how to brace your spine and back and things like that so learn to deadlift you think before you try to do any sort of like kettlebell swing yeah i would mm -hmm. and then when you progress from there you're gonna there's a number of different drills you can go to if you go to like my instagram i have a ton of like how to do kettlebell swings better um how to goblet squat how to snatch how to clean but that's uh, kind of where to start like learning how to goblet squat how to you know i guess kettlebell swing goblet squat turkish get up is probably a good place to start it's where you have the weight up and you stand up from the floor and come to a stand position and then lay back down uh and then there's just pressing it and things like that but really where to start is you want to get that that two-handed swing down and then you move to the one-handed swing and a lot of it is just learning to let the arm come into the body. Kind of relax, like you said. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. I mean, it's a different mm -hmm. it's a different feeling than weightlifting, especially once you start yeah. swinging it around. Well, the only reason I know how to do any of it was going to your <laughs> gym. And maybe the only thing I would add, it, I'm sure you would say, would just be to start light. Yes. While you get the form down. A hundred percent. Don't go crazy from the get go. Once you feel confident in the form, then probably pretty gradually yes you that. want to yeah. really gradually increase it you you just you really do want to get the mechanics down you won't be a warrior on day one no well you will be you'll be a warrior you you are who you are right and so uh but everybody needs to learn right, right. and everybody needs to take those steps back right mm -hmm. and just accept the reality of where we're at yeah and then and and deal with that and so that's i mean in very general terms that's yes 100 percent what you want to get down okay i love it